And today we do carry that chance of an isolated storm through our weather timeline, but it will still be very warm Tuesday through Thursday. We see that storm activity really back off. Temperatures will be downright hot by Wednesday. And then after that, this is our Friday forecast. A major cool down comes in by the end of the week. But for today, the area of low pressure that is slowly, slowly, slowly been sinking to the south will finally kind of lose its oomph today. And by tomorrow, that will allow drier, more westerly flow to set in. And that will keep us storm free at least for a couple of days. And that high pressure is what will really allow those temperatures to start warming as well. So I talked about the funnel cloud not far or the uh, tornado not far from Idaho Falls. A couple other funnel clouds spotted as well across eastern Idaho yesterday across the Treasure Valley, though we did escape that storm activity on Sunday and it looks likely we will escape the round that's uh, set up for today as well. A couple of showers possible this morning, a couple of spot showers by midday in the east central mountains. And then as the heat of the day sets in right between maybe two to six o'clock this afternoon, that's the best chance of some storm activity just outside the Magic Valley, just north uh, into Gooding or outside of Gooding, maybe into Fairfield and then on up into Sun Valley. We may see some storms develop, but again, you can see the Treasure Valley. We're high and dry for the day today. One little last gasp here by this evening. And then after that, I'm going to let this play out until Tuesday at 730. Look at this, something we have not seen in quite a while on our future cast. No storm or rain activity expected tomorrow. Nothing but sunshine and nice warm temperatures. Perfect roaring springs weather. If the kids are itching to go, the next three to four days will be perfect for it. Just a quick reminder as well, we have flood warnings in place for the foreseeable future for the Bruno River near Hot Springs and the Big Wood River at Haley as well. If you are planning on heading to the mountains this weekend, fair warning, temperatures will not be like this. Yes, especially in the higher elevations, major cool down coming in. In fact, McCall by Saturday morning down near the freezing mark. So just plan on if that if your tent campers pack the extra blankets. Now, no blankets, no jackets necessary today. Just sunscreen, shorts, sandals and sunglasses, right? Brought to you by the letter S today. Our forecast is mostly sunny to partly cloudy, but still 90 degrees expected in Ontario. 86 on tap for Boise today. Warm up in the mountains as well. 79 for Idaho City, Garden Valley and Council will likely get into the 80s along with Riggins. Mid 70s in McCall, Donnelly and Cascade today. Gorgeous. If you're going to beat the crowds and do some midweek or early week camping, picture perfect. Good choice. It'll be beautiful over the next couple of days. Storms today do favor the east central mountains though, so keep that in mind if you're headed up to Stanley or Sun Valley. Mid to upper 60s, the high temperatures there. Low 80s to upper 70s for the Magic Valley. Mostly sunny with just a very slim chance of a storm popping up in some of our east or the northern zones of the Magic Valley. So tomorrow, tomorrow, lots and lots of sunshine. Temperatures hover in the mid 80s again. Wednesday, we get a little bit more of a boost in those highs. Thursday is our little transition day there. You can see upper 70s with some sunshine. And then look at Friday. All bets are off, guys, as far as the summer weather goes. A what? high of 61 degrees.